Want to expand your living space? Well, there's nothing like sprucing up your patio to enjoy this wonderful weather. We have Wayne Ozarzak here. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you. I know on a beautiful day like this, there's no way you don't want to go outside, but I guess if you're yeah. going to be out there, you might as well enjoy the most pretty surroundings at your home. Exactly. What do you have here for us to help us spruce things up? Well, the first thing is to get our deck clean. Mm -hmm. So we brought a pressure washer, which does a great job at cleaning your deck. You just want to make sure you don't get too close to the wood so that you don't destroy any of it. If you don't have a pressure washer, then there's also a easy deck wash or something like that you can use. Simply hook it up to your hose, spray the deck, let it sit for a little while, and then rinse it off. You say don't destroy it. What's the danger of using a machine like this? Well, if you use a nozzle that's got more of like a jet spray, you want to use one that has a pretty wide spray, um, and you don't want to get too close, because if you use like a jet spray and get close, you will actually dig holes into the wood. You'll ruin it. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a good thing in technique. Um, what are the best ways then to preserve it, and how long should we expect an average patio to last? Well, uh, the or preserve, deck, I should say. yeah, the finishes will last, uh, depending on the quality, three to five years. Uh, we have a Sickens product here, which is a, a top of the line sealer. It's oil based mm -hmm. and it's transparent. So you can apply that, you'll probably get four or five years out of it. Okay, and then, then you'd have to reapply again. Yeah, then you'd have to reapply, you'd wash it again, you'd let it dry for a couple days and reapply. Okay, and in terms of any waterproofing, is this all all you need, or would you have any more steps? Uh, that will do it. That stain also acts as a sealer. That'll okay. keep the water off. Now, it looks like you have some different varieties of taste and color. If you want to stain it, keep it more natural. Yes, the first board is just natural cedar. The next two are uh, cedar stained with, this, with the Sickens product. And then the other ones are composite boards that you can replace the wood with if you're tired of um, repairing it and you want to go to something that's more maintenance free. Okay, and that would be for the whole or just a patch problem piece? That would be, you could use it for the whole surface of your deck. Okay. Now look at all these pretty railings and everything. It almost looks like an indoor home with some of these spindles. Wow. A lot of options. So most decks have like the two by two wood rails. That's usually what you see, or balusters. Mm -hmm. But for not much money, for just a couple dollars a balluster, you can upgrade to a, a metal uh, or an aluminum type of rail that really change the look of your deck, make it look a lot better. And what kind of price ranges are we talking for getting a, a wood deck like this together in terms of some of these upgraded amenities? Looks like the lights on the uh, on the uh, um, on the top of the railing as well. Yeah, the lights are pretty inexpensive. They could be about ten dollars a set. Um, the railings, like I said, are anywhere the wood is less than a dollar a piece. The steel ones go from two dollars a piece and up. Okay, and look at the planter. You just rest that right on top of the ledge. Yeah, what a so great idea. It's my wife's herb garden. Ah, okay. so and she let you bring it here. Okay, Wayne, thank you so much for the great ideas yeah, to try you. to keep everything in shape. And I guess now would be the time or usually in early spring if you wanted to redo, or does it really matter? It doesn't matter. Any time is good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, we got our handyman with the best advice. Back to you. All right, cool-looking stuff. Thanks a lot, Kim. Well, a deal to raise money for the post office.